So we're seeing some changes with a park as well, with the Short Bridge Park. Tell me a little bit about that in Potomac Yard. So Short Bridge, uh, we went, we had two actions uh, where we actually uh, named, uh, recommended, or accepted the recommendation from, uh, I guess it was Parks and Recreation Commission along with the HALRB um, to name this area that we're going to master plan, uh, calling it Short Bridge Park, an homage, if you will, to Long Bridge Park. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the sort of uh, counterbalance there. And, you know, it, it, it makes sense in, in, in the uh, sense that there is a decommissioned railroad bridge, even though no one really would know it is one, but that's sort but of that's a central what feature. Was. The yes. historic nature of that's it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Historic uses. Uh, so this is a this is a great way where we do the best with what we we, we can in terms of limited spaces. Um, we've got an area that's right by Four Mile Run near the river, adjacent to the city of Alexandria and the Potomac Yard area. Um, we have longed. A desired that this be a park and there's been some modest improvements put on it to date uh, to make it function as one but really not adequate so we are going to uh, enliven the trails create a connection to the water create a really usable park that will hopefully one day if the city of Alexandria moves forward with their uh, development processes create really a very large natural interesting um, part of our park system, regional park yeah. system, that hopefully will be a destination for many. So this is designed to be more of a just true green space as opposed to the big the recreational fields, the baseball, you know, basketball courts, that kind of thing that we see in some other park areas. Yeah, I yeah. think that's right. Although there will be a couple yeah. of amenities. Yeah. Um, one of the ones that I think is especially exciting and relevant to a lot of conversations we've been having recently is a dog run. The dog ah, run, of course. So as we both work on our new plan for our places and spaces or POPs, the updated public spaces master plan, one of the big themes and big needs that has come out um, is the desire for more spaces where dogs can be off leash. Mm -hmm. especially. Um, traditionally, our standards for uh, dog parks, which are the only places in the county where dogs can legally be off leash, um, require a lot of land, a yeah, pretty sure. big footprint. And so we're piloting uh, a new idea of a dog run, which is sort of a more urban um, area that can maybe prevent the impacts of really heavy dog use mm -hmm. from getting into the uh, floodplain or the sure. resource production area, but still provide that great amenity for um, residents of our more urban areas whom we know feel very strongly about their canine members of the Absolutely. family. Absolutely.